in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the bible says you are a chosen generation. It calls you a royal priesthood. It says you are a holy nation, a peculiar people, mandated to show forth the praises, is the word doxazo, of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. I'm seeing the number four, and I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer four just four people i'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now the eyes help them please my god the eyes of the seer i activate that prophetic may that mantle rest upon you the eyes of the seer authentic manifestation of the prophetic i set you on fire i ignite your sight in the spirit The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage your physical lineage but you are yet to carry that mantle i release that grace i release that grace it comes upon you right now hallelujah I'm hearing someone with the name favor the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life I don't know who that person is your name is favor I'm declaring who is favor in the name of Jesus every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ please make sure that this prophecy is for you don't just come out carelessly I stretch my hands right now the anointing that releases the grace upon your name receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let favor follow you in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night favor i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a prophetic word and God is speaking to someone I would not say things like that except God to told me your destiny is in the United Kingdom I don't know who that person is but this is what God is saying your destiny is in the United <laughs> your destiny is in the United Kingdom just help them it may not be easy but please just manage them your destiny is in the United Kingdom I, 
I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know. But I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, I place grace upon your life. And I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny. Locate destiny. Locate destiny right now. Listen. Listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God the reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land. Not any land. That land. There are lands when you sow into you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. And in the obedience of your advancement, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. There are many people, the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning. And hear me, there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad. They are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. Can we release the grace for speed? why do we pray for speed most of you listen you must understand now here I want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do I promise that I was going to work with time do you know why I release the grace for speed because I have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. These are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny. For some of you, many things have left you behind. But I want to release that grace. And when I, please, I want you to help them because people will start running. And so I want you to help them. I stretch my hands. By the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now the grace for speed. Release, receive it right now. Speed, 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 speed. Receive that grace. Speed, shabakatabakatos. Speed. I command it. I declare it. I decree it over your life. Man of God, speed. Businessman, speed. Elijah, receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to rebuke spirits. For as long as I live, no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit.
that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life are you ready now i decree and declare that at the count of three every spirit witchcraft every manipulation connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus lift your destinies now lift your destinies out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly i decree and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit it's time for you to leave let god's people go now Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go. I'm praying again. Every spirit tying down anyone here, any man, any woman, I'm saying it again. At the count of three, let the fire fall. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hello, Madonna. I will, I will say it again when it's time to prophesy but I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open and I want to declare it I don't know who that is for but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now and you will be surprised to see doors open Lord as to bash get help that lady doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who are praying, you are fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a father be open hallelujah who is sylvester i'm hearing a name sylvester who is that your name is sylvester what do you do my friend i want to pray for you how long have you been in a medical practice this will be my 10th year your 10th year are you planning to go abroad i have been i've been trying your season has come your destiny listen to me i will not call you out and tell you nonsense my friend i fear god eh? But I'm telling you that there is a very supernatural manifestation of God's grace. Listen, in your practice, there is a height that God is going to take you to that will surprise you. <laughs> Sylvester. There is someone, the power of God is coming on you. You are a lawyer. I'm seeing, because I'm seeing in a vision and I'm seeing that person wearing the, the uh, week for lawyers 
and I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you and the Lord is saying his opening is a new season I don't know where that person is but right now you are a lawyer the power of God is resting upon you it's a new season do not look down on yourself that profession is your ministry and the hand of God is there Sylvester I want to pray for you all of you who are out in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare seven years exactly please listen to the word before you come out we have to hurry up seven years you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb seven I know there are many people but this is seven a woman seven years is there someone like that let me pray for you right now because I'm saying there is grace to declare over you Sylvester I stretch my hands all of you in the name of Jesus Christ who is the helper of men I decree and declare by the Spirit of the Living God the prophetic word that God has declared upon you in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you seven years in the name of Jesus Christ my dear you see God's word is not a suggestion when God's word comes it truly comes to bring liberty father in the name of Jesus we thank you please make sure it's that specific word I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare like Elisha said to the Shunammite woman according to the time of life it doesn't matter how it has been before now now that your word has come in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit that is responsible for barrenness the spirit that is responsible for loss of children I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit are you standing for yourself my dear no 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 this lady you are standing for yourself yes, sir. where is your husband he's not here where is he he's at home where is home look beside let the mercy of God speak over your marriage amen. say amen. amen in the name of Jesus Christ amen. and every legal access the devil has over your home I declare it broken now amen madam this woman lifting her hands shout Jesus Jesus! It's over completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands over these precious women and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever has been responsible for this barrenness, loss of children, we don't care what it is. We correct it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I release grace upon you that according to the time of life, return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Place your hand. Let me pray for the sick now. I just said place your hand and I just saw a thermometer go down every time I see that that is high blood pressure that's BP there's someone you have suffered this demonic thing the power of God is coming on that person right now I'm seeing that the person is in this row you are somewhere al along this row I don't know who that person is the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that the person is somewhere along that road the power of God is coming on that person I assure you these visions don't lie the power of God is touching someone I saw a thermometer go down in the name of Jesus Christ please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now if it's your head go ahead if it's a blood condition just lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact please believe in the healing ministry believe in the healing ministry there's no reason to sit down and die for nothing believe in the healing ministry lay your hands just keep it there you sent your word and it healed my disease you are the Lord my healer That he led me, that he led me. You are the Lord, my sent your word, you sent your word, and he healed my disease. 
there's someone you are already having signs signs of rheumatoid arthritis i have to pray for you half of you you are already having a very serious i'm not a medical doctor i'm just describing what god is showing me a a tingly feeling you know like like shock something your your body is getting numb i want you to connect by faith and those who are it's incredible how many people connect to our miracle services from several hospitals and the testimonies that have come is very humbling and here is a chance again we thank god for doctors they are a symbol of god's mercy but in addition to that which they do we are connecting by faith to release the healing power of jesus i truly believe that jesus heals lay your hands what money cannot do what doctors may not even be able to do jesus the healer is about to touch you right now keep your hands there i want to minister the power of god the power of god is just flowing right now and touching people there are two people who are going to shout very loud the moment that happens the healing power of god will begin to flow Honestly, I do not know why, but this is what God is ministering to me. Very loud shout. Two of them. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every devil, every unclean spirit that is responsible for sicknesses and infirmity. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Mm, miracles are happening. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Frequent urination. I don't know the name of the medical condition but frequent urination sometimes if you are not careful and you don't hurry up you is almost as if you are going to ease yourself on yourself i declare right now that demonic case let it come to an end now i've seen this a number of times and i've announced it a woman who is not nursing she's not a nursing mother and yet she's lactating I don't know if that is good or bad, but I think it's bad. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that demonic occurrence dies permanently from your body. I'm still praying. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. I conditions in the name of Jesus, every kind of eye condition here represented by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now ear conditions I command healing by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus there's someone you have a problem with your kidneys I don't know if you are aware or not but in the name of Jesus Christ I declare healing right now there's someone I'm seeing that you are watching from South Africa you are suffering from kidney stones. This is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. From South Africa, kidney stones. In the name of Jesus, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is showing me a lady who is connecting from Canada. 
this is Ontario in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare this heart palpitation heart palpitation be healed right now be healed right now there is a mother I'm seeing maybe at least maybe her it should not be less than her 60s she's watching from Bauchi state from Bauchi state in the name of Jesus the son of the living God mama be healed now I'm also seeing a woman who is connecting you are watching by your daughter's phone this is what I'm seeing you're using your daughter's phone to watch you have been having dreams and seeing dead people people who have died calling you in the name of Jesus we extend your life to be consistent with God's program we extend your life and my declaration for that woman is what I'm declaring over you no untimely death for you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus the someone is a blood related case I don't know if it's HIV or something in the name of Jesus the son of the living God HIV God is healing you now God is healing you now God is healing you now as someone suffering from peptic ulcer peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now There's something they call mums, where the side of your your um, your mouth, your cheek area, begins to swell. Now, there's someone you don't have that case, but this is what is happening. It's not mums, but you are having that discomfort. Is like it's you know it's swelling. I don't know whether you are here or any of the overflows. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Right now. Right now right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching that person right now there's what we call dementia where you begin to forget I'm seeing someone's father suffering that the power of God is coming upon you right now for the sake of your father He's beginning to forget names and forget people and forget places. He will have to be reminded. I'm seeing pictures in front of him. They have to try to remind him of several things. In the name of Jesus, dementia, you go now. You go now. Wow. The Lord is showing me a very interesting situation. I'm seeing a surgery room. Now, it may not be, it may be something in a vision. I'm seeing a surgery room currently as I'm speaking, and they are operating someone. And with what I'm seeing in my vision, that person will not wake up again. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying we should change that situation. I don't know who the person is, but I'm seeing them open up someone. And while the work is ongoing, I'm seeing complication that is developed. And once they are done with the surgery, they may say the person bled and could not survive it but because it has been revealed we knock upon the door of life and we command preservation i don't know who is going through surgery right now every complication being scheduled by satan in the name of jesus we overturn by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of Jesus be healed now Amen. 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 we're about to submit our prayer request very quickly we may not have the time to collect testimonies because I promised that we're going to finish on time but listen very carefully there is just one person I know that there are many people but there's one person here you have been praying desperately and desiring the healing anointing to really come upon your life it's been your prayer unto God 
I know that there might be several people, what God says to one, he says to all, but God is showing me, one. I'm not talking of casual, passive, blind desire. Genuine is been pressing upon your heart. You have cried and you have desired the healing anointing. The Lord is saying it is yours right now. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is coming upon you. You will truly carry the healing anointing. Truly carry the healing anointing. You will truly carry the healing anointing. Just give me a minute and let God do what he's doing. That's, I've just been asked not to say anything, just to keep quiet and allow God do what he's doing. Mighty God. one minute God is doing an impartation very strong impartation strong impartation of graces strong impartation strong impartation See, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. When you walk with God, one of the things you must master is the ability to be sensitive in the spirit. Sensitivity in the spirit is gold. You must know how to respond to the impulses of the spirit. Being anointed is not enough. The administration of the anointing is sensitivity dependent you would lose out on many prophetic things that God intends to do simply because you do not have the eyes that see and the ears that hear just 10 or 20 more seconds and then we'll be ready to pray God is not done this thing is the healing anointing oh i'm talking of the healing anointing this is what is coming so that there's no it's not just a random impartation
Alasaneka Parosia Tabaratus. To his kingdom there will be no end. Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell someone. I will help you. I'm hearing help. The Lord is saying you have labored, you have tried by yourself and by your own strength. I am coming into your life to help you. This is what God is saying. This may not be for everybody, but he is called the helper. God is saying you have tried and tried. I don't know in what area you have tried. You have exhausted your options. In fact, you came into Koinonia. You came for service tonight. You're not just confused. You've exhausted everything. But in the name of Jesus, the helper is visiting you. Ebenezer, the helper of men. In the name of Jesus, the helper is holding your hands. The helper is holding your destiny. You are about to experience help from the helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I want everybody open your mouth and begin to pray if you can while you submit your prayer request. Please, no distraction. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. Now, just submit your request to the last person by your left or right very quickly for the sake of time. Don't worry, no one is reading your request. Just quickly submit so that you make the work easy for ushers. Ushers, let's get this done very quickly. While that is happening, we are praying in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. You are receiving through prayer. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it in that place of prayer, and thou shalt have it. Submit your prayer request. What's the first stanza of this song again? There are kings. There are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only a king will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only a Hallelujah. Please let me have all the, the prayer requests. Let's make it fast. There is a very serious impartation God wants me to do now. Please, I want you to pay attention. Don't be distracted. How many of you believe that there is actually the power to get wealth? There is the skill that you can exchange and it can bring you financial rewards but truly ladies and gentlemen i want you to hear me there is an anointing called the power to get wealth unfortunately most people who talk about money talk about it from a mundane carnal standpoint with no kingdom attachment whatsoever it's just for self-aggrandizement and to sponsor the flesh this is not and will never be the objective the goal behind anything god gives whatever god gives is for the benefit of the individual but more importantly for the profiting of the kingdom hallelujah now everybody needs money we live in a world that is driven by economy and the Bible says he sent a word to Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Koinonia is blessed to have very wealthy and successful people, humble people in fact. But let me tell you the truth. There is a grace that can come upon a man and truly cause that man to begin to prosper. There is a grace that can come upon a ministry. There is a grace that can come upon a company and a business and begin to shift you and gravitate you towards unusual levels of value through wisdom, unusual levels of favor, access to the gifts of men, witty ideas, supernatural innovations. 
and as i as i just stayed here waiting for them to drop the request the lord just put it in my spirit that i should minister that grace it may not be for everybody and this is not just about shouting and jumping this this is there is a real grace the power to prosper according to deuteronomy 8 18 it says but thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to prosper the lord gives men power to prosper he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place in genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3 it says i will bless you and i will make your name great i will bless them that bless you and curse him that curseth you and it says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed second corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 says ye know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 it says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency that you will abound in every good work i want to pray over you there is such a grace as the power to prosper it is the cure for foundational poverty it is the cure for this living from hand to mouth an individual can be blessed of God with proof now finances is not the only dimension of the blessing of God in fact it is the least of the dimensions when God releases the power to prosper it is not money he gives no money is a product it is bought with another kind of capital called true riches this is what comes upon you and i want to pray we only pray as people who have been shown mercy by the god of heaven but i want you to believe me there is a definite impartation that can translate to economic well-being in the life of an individual and even of an organization do not despise this impartation for many of you it will be your bailout system from debt from borrowing from begging living from hand to mouth compromises all because of money in the name of jesus i stand upon this grace and i pray stretching my hand over someone the grace that causes ordinary men to prosper in such an extraordinary way the grace that was upon isaac that made him to sow in that land and to receive that same year an hundredfold and the bible says the man began to prosper he went forward he advanced until he became very great and even until the philistines envied him i stretch my hands at the count of three let that grace come on someone and rewrite your financial story one two three take that grace now take that grace now the power to prosper I release that grace receive it in the name of Jesus koinonia receive it into your spirit receive it into your spirit the power to prosper rise above every economic climate in the name of Jesus that by this anointing in famine you shall laugh when men say there is a casting down economically you will say there is a lifting up by this anointing i forbid you from begging in the name of jesus christ stretch forth your hands towards this prayer request and i want you to begin to declare by the spirit all over the globe let's begin to pray go ahead begin to pray declare by the spirit we're praying over this request even by the spirit is someone praying go ahead declare these Egyptians that I see today I see no more forever we're praying the Bible says to be anxious for nothing but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it said let your request be made known unto God Philippians 4 and verse 6 someone is praying it says ye have not because you ask not someone is declaring by the spirit arise O god 
release miracles over these requests. Let God's people return with testimonies. All the requests that have been collated from all across the globe, in the name of Jesus, we declare the requests online, the requests here on ground, and in every other viewing center, every expression, anywhere and everywhere. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the Spirit supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers. Shabrekatebelekatos. One more minute. You are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus. Every request here is turned to a testimony. I say it again that in the name of Jesus. Every request here is turned to a testimony. Not only a testimony is turned to a speedy testimony. Every situation that needs to change here, we declare changed. Every situation here that calls for favor, we command favor. Every situation here that will require the gift of men, we command the gift of men. Every situation here that requires warfare, we declare that the enemy is defeated. Every situation here that calls for judgment, we announce judgment right now. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now it's time to declare over your life and then I'll make the altar call. Just give me the next five minutes and we're done. I want to declare over your life. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. It's time to receive now. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Please give us media Ezra 6, 14. The Bible says that they prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and they finished it. The Bible says. And then Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. The Bible says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Believe in the Lord thy God so shall you be established. It says believe in his prophets so shall ye prosper. Hallelujah. I want to declare over your life in numbers i believe chapter 23 when you read 19 to 20 when balak came to call um balaam to go and curse the people of god he said i have received commandment to bless and i have blessed and it cannot be reversed i want to declare over your life there is a sworn blessing that comes from the lord an irreversible blessing in the name of jesus i declare rise to a new dimension rise to a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life i decree it in the name of jesus number two i declare for your shame receive double i say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Every manifestation of fear in your life, I cause it right now. I cause fear, the fear of death, the fear of the past, the fear of the present, the fear of the future, the fear of men, in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I decree and declare, for as long as I am alive, I will keep praying this upon your life. The grace for favor. May that grace rest on you. Receive the grace for favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who is holding something that should be given to you by God, 
I declare may God put it in their heart to release it to you. May my God put it in their heart to release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The Bible says, And thine ear shall hear a voice saying, This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the left or to the right. Every confusion in your life, you have been praying for direction. This week, find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for every career person here. In the name that is above all names the bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more onto the perfect day i decree and declare receive the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence after the order of daniel go and excel every failing dying or dead business here hear the word of the lord i command that you jack back to life Hear me, if there is any plot of death already trailing your life or that of your children or that of your family members, in the name of Jesus, I separate you from that spirit. For the Bible declares that the Lord himself will keep you from every evil attack and that he will lead you safely to his heavenly kingdom. Therefore, I declare, you will never find yourself in an area that will leave you dead. You will never enter a car that will lead you dead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When Jesus was born, the spirit of the Antichrist walked through Pharaoh and through Herod and he asked where the child was the Bible says he intended to kill him but then he had a vision and the angels told him depart from here and he departed and went down and stayed for two years until Pharaoh died and then he had another vision and he said they that seek the life of the child are dead I decree and declare every strategy God has designed for your safety may it be revealed to you may it be revealed to you in the name of Jesus now I understand I have declared over your finances but I know that the happenings around our nation especially for now is put people in a lot of financial pressure there are two people in the Bible who never go through famine the king and the prophet these two every time there is famine there is always a system of exemption the king and the prophet when there was famine in Samaria the king already had his abundance and then Elisha together with his band of prophets and he said I am the children that the Lord has given me he says we are for signs and for wonders in Israel therefore I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies may God use men as the raven that came to Elijah at Brook Cherith God will send men to feed you God will send men to see that you do not beg in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over anyone who is in debt suffering financially personally or corporately in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation now and finally let me declare the grace that makes for honor upon you to be honored means to be perceived as touching your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but it was not always so he called him Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow are we together but Jabez got to a point where he was angry and took destiny by himself and said oh that thou wouldest bless me that and enlarge my coast and that it shall be well with me and the Lord heard him I decree and declare upon your life may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you 
that come match miracle service you will be many times better version of yourself in Jesus name I pray keep standing everyone our time is fast spent but let me make the altar call right now I want to make the altar call please let's minimize movement we're closing on time today so please be patient as I make the altar call there are people here Jesus is calling you he's calling you to come home you're like the prodigal son that has deserted him and the Bible talks about the gentleman even though he was designed for royalty he was now feeding with the swine there's someone listening to me whether you're here on ground on site or you are following online and Jesus is speaking to you that now is the time to make it right with him or there might be someone here who has backslidden your life has gone haywire and you're saying apostle I need restoration I'm going to make these two calls in one wherever you are as I make this call and beckon on you I would request that you please quickly rush carry your bags your Bibles everything you came to church with and then you come and stand in front of me here it is my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus the one who is the reason for all that we do I begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come come to Jesus come to Jesus you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts. Come, come to Jesus. It is never too late. Are you coming? Three, come to Jesus. You can start afresh with Jesus again. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. You can know that you are saved. Like you know that you woke up this morning. Like you know that you are in this place. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. And those who are connecting by way of the internet, you're making this decision for Jesus. It is never too late. Never too late for Jesus. Hallelujah. So as I lead them to pray, please I request that you join me from across the globe and you can send in, let our media team know that you just made a decision for Jesus. Thank you very much, those of you who have come. If you're joining them, please join. I'm about to start the prayer. Those of you who came out from all the overflows, just look to your screen and then let's pray together. Lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender and please say this after me as loud as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight... I have heard your word. I believe in you. If you're joining them, join quickly so that we'll pray. If you come after the prayer, you were not saved. It's the prayer, the faith declaration through the prayer that, that causes you to be saved. Hallelujah. Say, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious people. You have brought them by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I call them bona fide recipients of your life. And I decree and declare that the ministry of the Holy Spirit will be richly experienced in your life. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. And that you walk in newness of life from tonight. The grace to live a victorious Christian life, I impart upon you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, I want you to please move to my right, which will be your left. The counselors are there. 
to receive you and just have a word with you very quickly. God bless you. Koinonia, let's give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you.